Good afternoon. Or good day. I hope you're doing well. I've come to your home today too. This is uh, Kwe, your history facilitator. Last time when we met, we learned about castles and forts in Ghana. Our last topic was Cape Coast Castle. Am I right? Yeah, we learned about forts and castles. We've seen what a fort is, what a castle is. A building protected for the safety of a king of an, or an official is a castle. And a building occupied by soldiers to offer protection is also a fort. And we learned that there are several forts and castles in Ghana here. We learned of Elmina Castle, Cape Coast Castle, Osu Castle, Fort St. Jago, Fort James, and others. I hope you remember all. Oh, yeah. This helps us to remember the history of our country, Ghana. So we are done with that. And today we are going to start something new. What I are going to treat today is some outstanding Ghanaian entrepreneurs. Some outstanding Ghanaian entrepreneurs. So this is what we are going to treat for today. When we say an entrepreneur, who is an entrepreneur? An entrepreneur is a person who organizes and controls a business with the aim of making profits. An entrepreneur is a person who organizes and controls a business with the aim of making profits. So when we say an entrepreneur, that is a person who organizes and controls a business with the aim of making profits. And there are some outstanding Ghanaians who are entrepreneurs. So there are those people that we are going to talk of them. And the first one that we are going to talk of is Esther Oklo. Or Esther Oklo. Esther Oklo was one of the outstanding Ghanaian entrepreneurs. What, is, what has she done for Ghana? That we are calling her an outstanding entrepreneur. Let's see the history of this woman. She was born as she was born as Esther Efua Mkulinu. This is Esther Okulu. She was born as Esther Efua Mkulinu. That's the name that her parents gave to her. Esther Efua Mkulinu. She was a Ghanaian entrepreneur who was one of the people who introduced the program of making small loans available to businesses. Esther Efua Mkulinu. I know that when we had the Inkulu, we remember Inkulu the palm soup. I will remember that one. Yeah, she was the woman, she was she's the owner of this uh, that Inkulu no palm soup and other things. So Esther Oklo or Esther before Inkulu no, is the owner of Inkulu no palm and Inkulu no foods. So she was a Ghanaian entrepreneur who made uh, small loans available. Currently, some women or some women, your parents may be or are aware. Some women, women may be meeting or be meeting at a place every week. The aim is to get loans, small, small loans to establish business or to help their business move on. It was this woman who started that or who brought that idea, who made that available for women to get small, small loans to establish some business to cater for their families and others. For example, her organization, Women's World Bank, has helped millions of women to start and expand their businesses. This is the Fua Mkulinu brought this for a women's world bank or organized this women's the women's world bank. It's a big bank in Ghana. She is the owner or she organized it. And this bank has helped millions of women to start businesses, to expand their businesses. Those who have business already, because of this bank, they, they have been able to expand their business. Those who didn't also have have been also I also been able to I mean, start businesses because of the help of this woman idea or this woman idea. So this woman, Esther Nkulinu, or Esther Efo Nkulinu, or Esther Oklo, has helped a lot of women in Ghana, and not in Ghana alone, in the world and in Africa, to become their self or themselves. So this is the reason why we call her an outstanding entrepreneur, or entrepreneur. She established or she organized business with the aim of making profits, but the profit that she made is not for herself, but for the benefit of many Ghanaian or many Ghanaian women, even men. So this is the reason why we should learn about Esther Oklo or Esther Efua Nkulimu, so that we can also learn about she did and imitate her good example. So we can also help one another. When we have something, we can also work on and improve on it 
and help others to also become somebody. As Madam Esther Okro or Esther Foy Mulina has helped many Ghanaian women to do. So, this is what we have for today an outstanding Ghanaian entrepreneur, a four Mkulinu, what she has done for Ghana, what we can also learn from what she has done. So, this is what we have for today. So, read the notes very well. I'll give you work on it, then you do for me, okay? So, this is the end of our lesson. Have a nice day and be a good boy or girl. Bye.